What up? It's your boy, J.O. Another episode of Word of J.O. Got a good show for y'all today. Hit your like, subscribe, turn on your notification. We'll be right back. J.O. Dollars, that is. What's up, J.O.? How you doing, doing, man? What's up, man? You know what I'm saying? We coming at you, you know what I'm saying? This is the interview. You know what I mean? You want to let these people out here know who you are and what you're talking about, you know what I mean? So, we're going to start this off by asking about when did you start rapping and why? You know what I mean? Can you lab on that a little bit? Well, i always been into hip-hop, man, since the Fat Boys and you know, Curtis Blow and all that. When my brother used to make the little tapes and, 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 and bring them out on the block, we play them out on the block and it'd be live all day, you know what I'm saying? But I just always been in the hip hop. What made me start rapping is I heard somebody say, you got a good voice, you got a good voice, man, you need to try it. So you know me, I feel like I do anything, you know what I mean? My confidence is right there, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can do whatever. So I just tried and it, it clicked. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm feeling that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, who, inf who, back when you was coming up, like, yeah, who was your favorite rappers back then? Back in them days? Yeah. Early rap, LL was it. You know what I'm saying? LL, Rakim. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically, I, I, I followed behind, you know, Rakim, uh, KRS-One, Master Ace. Influences. These are your influences. Yeah, Master Ace. You know what I mean? Uh, Ice Cube in the later 80s and 90s. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know what I mean? Made me feel like I could do it. It was big, man. Big, big made me feel like I could do it. Yeah. I hear that. You know what I'm saying? He is a good influence. You know what I'm saying? Icon. What? Top five of Dead or Alive. Can you give me that? What? Top five? Top yeah, five? Top, top five. five. Everybody got a different type five, man. This is my top five. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Impact. You know what I'm saying? Impact. You know what I'm saying? Lyrics. Delivery. The whole package. Uh, in no certain order. I say big. Pop, Jay Z, Nas, and Scarface, man. Hmm, that's the that's the Scarface. Yeah, I fuck with Scarface, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's some good, that's some good picks. I like that, but uh, at the same time, what do you think about? You know, with hip hop in the community today, what, what kind of effect do you think it's taking out there? Are you talking about as a whole? As a whole influence to the to the young youth out there. What do you think hip -hop, is doing? I to mean, it? hip hop ain't what it was. We all know that, man. Hip hop ain't 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 half of what it was. You know what I'm saying? It's still entertaining. There's good music out there. It's good artists, but I feel like. They're chasing the dollar now. You know what I'm saying? Back when they didn't make that much money, you got better. You got better hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It was 
they weren't making too much money then. The money came later when it went corporate. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's more money influence. You know what I mean? People don't take it as serious. They take it like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do a job to try to get some money. You know what I mean? Ain't too much money in hip hop right now. So if you're looking for money, you look somewhere else. Mm. I hear that. Okay. So I'm saying though, if you had to collab with somebody, an artist out there that's in there, any gender, who would it be? Any genre? Uh, I would want to do a song with Beanie Man. <laughs> Jamaican artist. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. I miss that, man. I come up in that era where that Jamaican shit was hot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do a song with Beanie Man, okay. straight up. Okay, that will be hard. I see that, I can see that. That's what's up. But, are you affiliated? Or you do you bang? Nah, man. I come up in a, well, you could say a predominantly Crip area, but I'm not affiliated whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? I do me. I, I stand alone. I don't do the bang stuff because I'm. I, you can't send me to do nothing. Like I ain't never been the type to be a low and go out and do some wild shit for a motherfucker. None of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm an individual. You know what I'm saying? I bang for my family, for the McKeithen family. Hmm. That's so sad. I see that too. There you go. So who are you trying to reach? What's your message? I'm really aiming at the young cats, man. The young cats, like I try to make the music, like bridge the gap, right? You got old heads rapping, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of artists that's, you know, seasoned. They still doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? And you got these new rappers that they don't really fool with the old heads. You know, when we was young, we we looked up to the old heads, you know what I'm saying? All the older rappers was like, man, they the nicest, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. gave them their respect. They don't give the respect right. like we did, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to reach out to them and bridge the gap, you know what I mean? Make peace with them so we can all make dope music. Well, how you going to say, okay, when you get a certain age, you ain't dope no more? Right. You know what I'm saying? Or you, you one of them young dudes, I don't listen to that. How can you say that? You know what I'm saying? It's got to be a, a peace. That's what I'm looking for, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make that peace between the old heads and the young dudes. Okay, okay. So, uh, you said you from Knoxville, right? Yeah. Okay, how is it, how is hip hop in Knoxville? Well, originally I'm from New York. I'm from, like y'all know, I'm from Yonkers, Mount Vernon, and all that. Westchester County, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I came to Knoxville when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Not real young, but just became a man. So I kind of evolved with hip hop in Knoxville. There's a lot of artists out there that I used to be like, oh, he nice, he need to do this, he need to do that. If I was him, I'd do this, you know what I'm saying? Which I ain't no authority, you know what I'm saying? But I just felt like they could go on a direction, you know what I'm saying? But it's a few artists around that's that's nice, man. It's just like there ain't no love in it, no, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a hobby that you do just cause you ain't hustling right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't love it. Like there's no events going on like you know what I'm saying, where they gathering and and, and, and you know, still sharp and still, you know, battling or whatever or spitting verses or whatever, it's no love in it. You just, you go in your house, you make your song, you come out, you put it out, and then everybody hate on it. And not for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be like that, man. Everybody should be, everybody, every artist, I feel like every artist should have a Knoxville artist on their playlist. You know what I'm saying? Every Knoxville artist should have they, another a Knoxville artist on a playlist, you know what I'm saying, to get the city on together, everybody get on, 
That's how it was back in the day. KRS One never beef with none of them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody they made self destruction songs and all that together. Collabs, all that together. No beef. Now, two people can't share the same space. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. I feel that. I feel that. Okay. Well, let me ask you. Uh, what you got for us? What you working on these days? Man, I got a suitcase for y'all. I got a suitcase full of material. I'm working on movies. I'm working on, I'm word the J.O. My name gonna be on everything. You know what I'm saying? I got a song coming out. Should be here within the next month or so. Probably in a couple weeks if I push it. Uh, it's called Show Respect. You know what I mean? I'm reaching out, like I said, I'm reaching out to the young dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make that peace. But Show Respect, look for that. Real hip hop. Yeah. I feel that. We're looking for that. So, what you want to say to the people? What you mean, what I want to say to the people? Yeah. I want to tell the people look, it's your boy, J.O. I'm here for you. I'm here to make music. Just hear me, man. Just listen to what I'm saying. You ain't got to love it. You ain't got none of that. Just listen to me. If I ain't nice, tell me. That's it. Just give me a shot. Listen to me. I, I accept constructive criticism. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of the nicest you know, whether you know it or not. So that's what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say what up to my family. You know, Vicky, Vanessa, Amanda, all my brothers, sisters. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Peace to my brothers here and in other states. You know what I'm saying? I got a big family. You know what I mean? Please say, you know what I'm saying? What you feel about these young cats that's out here coming out? Uh, you know what I mean? From back then to uh, now, what you feel, you know what I'm saying? What are you seeing in them now? You know what I'm saying? Huh? The young cats, you know what I mean? They, they got potential, man. You know what I'm saying? They got potential. They, uh, you know what I mean, they, they, they got, you know what I mean, talent and all that. I just feel like it's not enough diversity, like, back, you know, I hate to keep referring, like, back in the day, but you, nobody sounded alike, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, all you, they want to do, you know what I mean, some of them, you know what I mean, some of them is nice, you know what I'm saying, they want to throw the auto-tune on their voice. Get a beat off of YouTube, you know what I'm saying, and and, 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 and and rap about the most negative shit they can rap rap about. You know what I'm saying? There's no storyline, it's no message, it's no, it's just a whole bunch of I got this, I do this, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy, I'm, I got the money. You know what I'm saying? Throwing money, who does that? Why would you show somebody how all that money? You know what I'm saying? You want somebody to be jealous of you? That don't make sense to me. You know what I mean? I'm in it for love, man. This is what I do. I do it because I love it. I get money on my own. I don't need hip hop for money. You know what I'm saying? I love this game, man. I need to go back to that. Well, that's right. That's right. I hear that. I hear that. You know what I'm saying? They need to listen. They need to listen to that, that good shit. So I'm saying, though. You know what I mean? We waiting to hear some motherfucking, some, some, some new tracks. You know what I'm saying? That's what the people want. You know what I'm saying? While we interviewing, we want to know when you coming out with the newest latest. The newest latest? I told you it was, it's show respect. Look, I got, I got a collab, I got a collaboration that I'm working on with an artist by the name of the Hustler. Y'all might have heard me on tracks with him or whatever. Dude is nice. He's born and bred in Knoxville. He, he, he got the Southern swing. He got all of it. You know what I'm saying? He got the perfect voice. Dude is nice. He motivate me to write. How I write. You know what I'm saying? I got, uh, I got, you know what I mean? I'm working on a movie called, uh, 
Well, I had a movie called Last Run Knoxville. I just picked up the camera and started recording, you know what I'm saying? Just because I do stuff like that. Like, if I'm interested in something, I just do it to experience it, you know what I'm saying? But now I done got a little educated, you know what I'm saying, on what I'm doing with the camera and all that. So, I'm working on a movie called uh, K-Town Exit, you know what I'm saying? K-Town exit. So I'm gonna get out of here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working on that. Of course I'm working on Word to J-O, this show right here, which I need to tune into every time. When you see it pop up, if you subscribe right now, every time something come on, it's gonna pop up. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this to all your peoples. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. You know what I mean? I got I got a song I just started on a day, just wrote the hook on called Where Do We Go From Here? You know what I'm saying? I'm always working, it's always I I, I say I got a good hundred in the bag, man. I got a good hundred songs in the bag, man. That's how much I love this, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, just pay attention. I'm I'm gonna hit I'm gonna start hitting you on the head on a regular basis with it. I just gotta, you know what I mean, bear with me, man. It's, it's, I'm on other people's time sometime, you know what I'm saying? If it was me, it'd come out regular every other week, every two weeks, three weeks. But, you know, it take time when you're doing music. So, just pay attention for, pay attention to that, and we're gonna, we're gonna take it there. That's what's up. Uh -huh. So, what's your uh, current take on the country? You know what I'm saying? On this state, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. It's just, I, I feel like, you know, with the, with the coronavirus, the little COVID-19, and uh, the, uh, you know, the police and the Black Lives Matters and, and the election, it's just kind of crazy that that's all happening at the same time, man. It's throwing me a little bit. It's making me think different. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like life ain't never been like this, man. They, in, in the cartoons, they used to have a mask on. Who thought we'd be running around like the cartoons with the mask on and, you know, the protective shit all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy, man. I just, I, It's just crazy to me that it's all happening around the same time when the elections and all that. And, it's crazy, man. Okay, uh, as a rapper, what's your take on police and, and, and brutality of the police? And the, you, are, are you are, are you offended by police and do you dislike police or what's going? What's your take on the police on law? In my experience, in my lifetime, you know, I'm from the streets. You know what I mean? Been there, done that. We ain't got to get into that. But uh, I've never had a good experience with the police. Like a good experience. Like the police came through and did something, you know what I mean, beneficial to me or mine. You know what I'm saying? Never had an experience like that. So, I mean, the police is the police. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, I don't fool, I never had fool with them, you know what I'm saying? My house get broken into, I call the police, they ask me why they break into your crib. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? What kind of question is that? Right. You don't know me, I don't know you. I tell you somebody broke in my crib, you ask me why they break in your crib. Like I know why somebody won't steal from me. You know what I mean? I never had a good experience with the police. I but. To each his own, if you know what I mean. I guess they necessary or whatever, but I don't too much deal with the police. Okay, okay, understood, understood. Uh, Black Lives Matter. What does this mean to you? Like when you hear Black Lives Matter, uh, as you being a black man, what, what, how, what does it mean to you? How serious, how, how does, in depth does it go you, to you that Black Lives Matter to influence others 
to let them know that black lives matter? I mean, it's basic what it says, you know what I'm saying? Black lives matter. It, it, blacks lives haven't, hasn't, hasn't mattered here in the past, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's been like, you lucky I even let you live type shit, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you lucky to be living, you lucky to even be eating, you know what I'm saying? That's how I've been treated, well not personally, but systemically how I've been treated since I can remember, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you, you're not, you're not human, you're, you know what I mean? But that's what it's saying, we're tired of feeling like that. You know what I mean? Feeling like we less of a man, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's ill, man, I mean like, it's, it's, it's a fact that black people were on this planet first. You feel what I'm saying? But we diminished to a point to where we're less than human to people that came after us. It don't make sense. Like, you got to think about it, man. It's just trying to raise the, raise the awareness, man. Black Lives Matter, man. We here, too. We here, too. We got to eat, too. We got to get money, too. We got families, too. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting like... We not supposed to be families, we supposed to be servants. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's just the direction. I that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's just raising the awareness that we not going nowhere. So you might as well just recognize us too, you know what I'm saying? Alright, all right, that's what it is. That's what's up, that's what's up. Alright, you know what I mean? That's what's up. Uh Thank you for your time. You know what I mean? Coming down and sharing, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Word up, word you know what I'm saying? Up. Your interests and your outlooks on things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? Hope you, you know what I mean, to uh, continue on with your success. Yeah, man. Yeah. Word to J.O., man. Stay tuned, man. We're going to be on every time, every, every week or so. Just be looking for another episode, man. I love y'all. Peace. Get your ass out the street. Thank you.